graphical approach. You guys could do the graphical approach, okay. and I would recommend maybe doing the graphical approach to like check your answer, I'd have but to try it first. let's save our time here. We know that if these equations are going to be continuous, that the y values need to be equal to each other. So we set them equal. And we want the y values to be equal when x is equal to 1, because that's where they were going to connect or not. So I only did that first example to give you guys a visual representation of this. And now, guys, we have an equation we just need to solve for k. Is this really that difficult to solve for k? No. So it's 3 minus 5, so that's negative 2 equals 1 plus k. Negative 3 equals k. Right? Now, if you want to, graph it. x minus 3 through x minus 5. Let's just do it because it's fun. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, that slope is 3, 1. 1, 2, 3 over 1. OK, now let's drive x equals negative 3. 1, uh, let's see, that graph looks like that. And then down 3, and then up 1 over 1. That graph looks like that. So do you guys see how that? Now, obviously, you'd add the constraints and then you know, restrict them. But do you guys see how they cross at negative 3 at 1 comma negative 3? Mm -hmm. It's easy until you get to the next question. And then it's like, crap. Everything that you just taught made sense.